Hello and welcome back to Truck and Logistics Simulator. It is once again new truck day. We are hopping out of this <laughs> this big beast. What did we call it? Um, the Peterworth. That's right. We're hopping out of the Peterworth, and we are getting ourselves a dump truck. Now we could have done some dump jobs with this, but there is a specific, a specific, a specific yeah, a specific uh, rigid truck, the Scania dump. I think it's the last oh did i did i not know that that was there the man one hmm anyway we've already got we've got a rigid like that there's not a man version of the dump no there's not a manly dump anyway anyway we're gonna go with this um it'll allow us to do single and double dumps uh so we're gonna go out and do some of them we're trying to earn some more money because this is gonna take away all of our pennies so uh Let's purchase it. There it is, 103. We're now down to 24 grand. So uh, I'll paint it, I'll customize it, and uh, we'll head out. Boom, bouncing in just like that. So there we are. This is us in our, our little, our, I was going to say our little dump truck. It's not a little dump truck. It's quite a thing, isn't it? It's, uh, yeah, it's cool. Right, so I think. Not 100%, but I think all we can do are the uh, the the wheel loader with the big boulders. But I could be wrong. There could be more to this for us. Different headset today. Um, I haven't charged the other ones up, so <laughs> we, we're going with a uh, regular headset. Let's go get some fuel to start with. Still haven't used an auto repair yet. There's an achievement for using one of them, and I haven't done it yet. But we're going to go get some gasolina with our creditos because we don't want to run out. And as you can see on the map, hopefully you can see, I'll, I'll make sure I disappear. But I, um, yeah, there's only yellow uh, dots. So we can only go to the construction sites to uh, to get our fuel, or get our fuel, so the garage to get fuel, to get our loads. But I'm not sure if in being extremely limited, whether that's also going to you know, give us the opportunity to make maybe a little extra money with it because of the, the quantities. Although, if experience is anything to go by, the money only seems to go up for the distance of the deliveries, not necessarily for... Oh, is that where I'm going in? That's where I'm going in. Is it? No, it's not. Excuse me. Sorry. Apologies. Um, yeah, for the distance, not necessarily the size or the particular value of the load itself. Payment is dependent on distance alone, it seems. I may be wrong. If you've done other math and you figured it out differently, let me know. I never go the right way around these blocks. If there's a block to go around. I seem to always go the wrong way. So we got straight in on the helmet. There we are. So what we want is let's have a look. That one's that pays out a fair bit. That is right the other side of the map. So it is all about the distance. So and that's a double as well. So I'm going to go with a, um, a single to start with, and um, yeah, twelve grand. So we'll, we should be able to fit another one, uh, another one in after that. We'll do two. So in our trusty wheel loader. So if I can make sure I got that right. I'll get them in there. How many can we get in the bucket? And this time as well, we don't want to lose any out. So I don't feel like that bucket tips up enough. I think I said this before. I feel like I need a little bit more, a little bit more scoopage on it. Oh, we've already lost one. How many are in the bucket? How many can we actually get in here? Two. That's it. Got, to get, got three. 
that's not good at all. Okay. Well, that's not such not good. It's half of them. It's half of them on the first load. We spawned that one for us. Very generous. Let's see how many pop out this time. Oh, already lost one. I feel like this is a, a game that you play, <laughs> play at the fair or the seaside. I live at the seaside, I should know. So we managed to get four in there. Because we've got a full, full dump truck. So let's just back up a little bit. I don't know why I've been so excited to uh, to do the dump truck, but I have. It's just something I feel like <laughs> it's fun to do. I just really like the load, and we could definitely fit more in there. We could have got 9 or 10 in that. Easily, easily 9 or 10. Right, where was the way out? Which way did we come in? Behind us? How am I lost already? How is it that I've... <laughs> How have I managed to get so lost? Where was the way in? Ah, it's because it's behind us and I've parked the wheel loader in the way. That'll be the problem. Oh, it's one of the ways in and out anyway. Whether there's another, I do not know. But this is our way out. Let's squeeze in. All right, maneuver won it. That'll count. That'll do. We'll take that. And no grumbles. Roads seem pretty quiet. So, as always, thank you all for coming back. Um, again, we are pretty much at the end of this series. We're going to run that. Pretty much at the end of this series, and um, we'll probably have maybe another two more episodes. I think we'll probably we'll do, we'll do two with the uh, with the dump truck. Just to be fair, because we did two of everything else, so we're going to run that one as well. Mate, <laughs> he clearly jumped his light to be out there, but never mind. Yeah, we'll we'll do two with the dump truck, and then I'll just play with the dump truck on my own. I really like just loading these, these, wow mate, these took it. The lean on some of these, the lean. Let's make sure it's safe. I stopped, I did get fuel, didn't I? Don't think I did. Because it's still showing empty. Hmm. There's no one behind me. Did I just park up and not fill up? Is that what happened? I probably didn't sit on the right spot. I think I turned the engine off and then didn't actually fill up. No, it must be full. See, I haven't got a zoom button. But I'm pretty sure that is my fuel and it's on empty. If we come out of cab. They're showing full. Okay, there might be. And oh no, it'll be the one below. So I don't know what that is. Yeah, that's our fuel. Okay, that's all right. I was going to say I felt sure. We filled up, and then I was I had a little panic there. 
had a little moment at my recall again <laughs> on display. Oh dear. <laughs> Anyway, what was I saying? Um, yeah, we'll uh, we'll do two in the dump. Um, I might try and get as much money as I can in a few days after that to make sure that we can uh, try and buy a car, try and buy a monster truck. I'll see what I can do. Um, I just don't think with the car we're not going to do anything different other than maybe do some of the exploring to get the uh, the gold boxes and I don't think that's much of a an exciting episode in the way that we're doing this if I was just to do oh look here's a guide to all the crates I can't do that because I've already played four or five and um, yeah that's not something that we necessarily do over here but I guess to own a car would be nice we did say one of each so we'll see what we can do. We might we might be able to buy a car after just um, four or five dump deliveries anyway and tick that box and then go off and, I don't know, deliver a small caravan and a, a power unit or what have you and, and that'll be that. But, like I said before, let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see this series continue a little bit more. And if you would, let me know what it is you would like me to do within it. Um, because once... Once we've done these dump deliveries, that's pretty much everything I wanted to achieve sort of within the series. You know, doing a set financial goal just then makes it, I think, a bit of a laborious grind. Because what do we do? We just we would just get the most expensive loads, the probably cars, or a double dump and do that as far as we can as many times as possible and I'm not sure how entertaining that would necessarily be just doing that um, but yeah like I say let me know down below I am intrigued as to who, what people would like to happen also if there is a, a game that we've been to and you'd like to see revisited more um, let me know um, something within the veins of um, American truck, not American truck, cinema. Alaskan road trucking. Whether we do that a little bit episodic for a bit, so we can explore more of what that game had to offer, or to go back to something like, and I'll say it again, gas station simulator. If you'd like me to go to that, or to for me to pick a completely different sort of life simulated job, job simulator game, and um, give that a crack. I have a few anyway, so uh, yeah, I might I might just I might go with that. I might get some of them recorded just in case. We like to be uh, ahead on the schedule. If we have some of everything ready, then um, <laughs> just drop down a smorgasbord of content. But I also know that probably by the time this this series runs its course, that's going to be the end of September. So we'll have about a month, um, yeah, about a month, month and a half, so about six weeks until FS25 drops. And obviously then that will become, because that is, Farm and Simulator is the prime audience of the channel, and that will uh, that will take over for a little bit. Although that hasn't happened in a while, OBS decided to, uh, <laughs> to back up on me mid-sentence. So yeah, a smorgasbord of content. <laughs> but yeah, so... Um, FS25 will probably take precedent because that will be obviously the more popular content that people want to see. Um, there'll be something new for me as well. But I say uh, something of a, of a slight variety there would be good. You, that was good. You let me know. Let me know. Let me know, people. I know most of the guys that are watching this. Um, are the ones that aren't too worried and would watch me play maybe a bit of everything and anything anyway the, 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 the primary farm sim viewers just watch the farm sim anyway although I did manage to, we have managed to convert a primarily ATS ETS viewer onto the farming and then onto other things so 
It is doable, sometimes. It is doable. Oh yeah, it's my fault, it's my fault, that is my fault, I didn't look. There we go. That was 100% me. You're just going to keep rolling now. Slow me down. That's 100% you. I'm um, just going to have a little bit of coffee while we do this, by the way. We sort of relax into it now. We, we treat recordings like streams and we just, we just do what we got to do. So I am recording this. Uh, this is how this is how you'll know how far ahead we are. Uh, today, Giants announced uh, peas are coming to FS25. Peas is a new crop, and also green beans. So there's spinach, peas, green beans, and two types of rice. A minimum of five new crops coming to uh, FS25, which is pretty cool. Now I think that there is going to be least one new combinable crop as well. I, I've got no insider information on this, but um, with what we've seen of the, from the game and the uh, the preview stuff, there's one of the dodgy bridges again. Um, there, there's going to be like rope production by the looks of it. So something like a flax. And we've had flax by modders, so let's not out of the realms of possibility. But I think flax could be a crop. I don't think it's been announced. I don't think we've seen it anywhere. But something along those lines. I would be surprised if there's not a more regular combinable grain crop. As as well as the uh just ignoring that. As well as the rice. Because the rice is combinable as well. You can use a rice harvest or you can use a uh, general um, combine harvester. But so crop wise, and adding to depth of production, um, FS25 is looking good. The, the GPS and the improved worker, course play, it's watered down from what we used to uh, from the modders, but it is a big improvement on what we've had from base game. So yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd still, I'd still like them to be putting out more, more gameplay videos. To be fair, we're getting a lot of slides, a lot of stills, like the. Uh, yeah, everything's coming as a fact sheet or as a blog post, and no videos. Hopefully, by the time this comes out, in like a week and a half, two weeks. Hopefully uh, we will have had some more gameplay videos. I'm not quite sure when the um, is it the Asian uh, Games Con is or something like that where they're going. But hopefully we'll get some gameplay after that. I think that's the plan. Oh, we're back up here. This is where we came before. I think and I said there was a a box. Oh, I did say there was a box. We tried to get the box, didn't we? I can't remember if we did that on camera or not now. I think I tried to get it off camera, but then told you about it in the next episode. That was what happened. So, we are here. Oh, out of cab. Come on. Let's see him. Let's see these bad boys roll. That's what we're all about. I, was, I thought they weren't coming out then. So they come out. They're not coming out. There we go, we have to do it ourselves. They're, they're, they're stuck. <laughs> they're not coming out. Perhaps we'll only get one load in, perhaps we won't get two. Don't know how long we've been going for because I had to reset their recording. Right. I can't get them to come out. 
<laughs> They've got stuck. <laughs> what do we do here? Because this is... This is not really anyone's fault, is it? How can we get them loose? There we go. Probably not the way to do it, but... I'll literally take a hit to get this load out. <laughs> Perhaps that's why that shed's all smashed up. Perhaps that's the only way they could do it as well. Come on, one more. Out you come. <laughs> we got there in the end. <laughs> We're going to have to go to a repair station at some point. <laughs> An extra $3 on fuel. But yeah, load of bonus. We got there. That's weird. One more. That was weird. So we need to now go and find ourselves another site. So let's have a look at the map. What is nearby? Nothing. Nothing's nearby. Um, I guess down here. There we go. All right. I'll make my way there and um, just to save a few minutes. And then, uh, yeah, I'll bring you back as I arrive. That's what we'll do. Okay, so we're now coming in on the, uh, the construction site. And this is... We've been here before. This is the one where we came and... You'll recognise all the machinery. Where we came and... Um, picked up the golden thing from up there. Up there. Up there in the, uh, in the bits. <laughs> So we will take a, if we take a double this time, but we'll go for a short distance because we've messed about a little bit. So we'll take a little hit on the finance. But that's still, you know, just under nine grand for a double. So this should be fun, to say the least. This is going to be fun. <laughs> got two to fill up, the one on my left and my truck. Not even sure if we've got one in there. Let's just have a quick look. We've got two, right here. So I wonder if it's going to be uh, seven for each, maybe. I'm not sure if that's over. They are in. And, you know, as much as I keep saying, oh, this is brilliant, this is, this is such a simple thing. Like, there's, there's no denying it. This is a simple thing. But the fact that it's here and it works, I think, is what makes it so good. And it's... It's, it's in no other trucking game that I play. Obviously, I can do this a similar sort of thing to Farm Sim. And you can probably do a similar sort of thing in Construction Simulator. Like I said, I haven't played the I think, last Construction Simulator. I played this Construction Simulator 2 or 3, and it wasn't very good. I, I hear that the latest one is better. I think I've discussed this before. So that one's one more in there. When the new one, when I see the new one on sale, I might, I might grab it. The new construction simulator, that is. Just to, just have a look. See, so the, the, the older one I have on um, my Xbox. How many have I got in there? There's a few, yeah, we don't want to waste them. We'll put them in, we'll bring on this one. quite time consuming just for a thing of its own. This is like a, a 
like a, a, a one episode thing, isn't it? Doing a double. Alright, I think there's one in there. It's nothing, I can't see anything. There's nothing to say that we've got anything in the bucket, is there? I think. <laughs> yeah, we haven't. That's not good. Alright, let's see if we can get that one in there. Listen, we got it, we got it. Oh, I thought I only wanted one more, I wanted two. Oh no. Wasting time, wasting time. Check because I'm not confident that there's anything in there. Let's move my camera a little bit. Should we do a little bit out of cab just so I can make sure I'm getting it right? Much, much easier out of cab. I only want, only wanted one, but we'll take it. Concentration. This is the most we've concentrated. Oh no, I was going to try and save it. Anyway, that's that one done. The other one still wants five, I believe. So. You get shoveling, my man, get shoveling. And then there's the, uh, <laughs> the question of. How are they going to empty at the end? Bearing in mind that the single load got stuck. That's definitely something that should have been fixed as well by now, after four years. Because of, oh no, you bugger. So that just wants one more as well now. That would have been enough. It's not that the controls are difficult, they are <laughs> they're the opposite way around from what I'm used to. They're not inverted. And it's my fault because I set them up. I can't complain about the game for that. It gave me the full opportunity to uh, invert these controls whenever I wanted to. And the fact that I set them up here anyway. Didn't let me get out of the way as far as I would have liked, but never mind. It's a good job this one's only gone for a short distance, isn't it? Get ourselves as much room as possible. Well, our window is um, small. Or well, our, our little screen is small, should I say? Not our window. Our reverse camera monitor. Sorry, I like sticking my head out of the window anyway. Boom, we are connected. That is um, quite the load. Might have a little uh, one of them, one of them jobbies. So let's get it, let's get it gone. But it looks like we've got to go up the hill with it. Now these. The loads, uh, as a rule, have felt welty, welty, have felt weighty when we've been delivering them. Just checking the end of my ear. OBS is still running. Good job we're only going a short distance because 
this is looking like a 15 minute video which we haven't done anything like that on this series they've all been sort of maybe 35 40 or the longest so if you don't enjoy longer content i do apologize because i've been trying to keep these short but it is what it is when you struggle to get it in you struggle to get it in you just have to keep persevering And concerned as to where we go, I couldn't see the turn in. It's here, so I was worried. So, what the GPS is messed up and it's said to be into that field again. Let's try to see if I can see it coming around a corner. If all looks well. So, do you think I have to unload one and then unload the other? Is that how this is going to go? Are we thinking? Let's try to take it easy down here. It's just a shame. It is a shame that the draw distance, the pop in and the pop out, is so close. Because that rear view mirror sometimes looks really nice. For the game, um, it looks really nice, and then sort of everything so as you as you enjoy looking at it, sort of the environment just disappears. There, like that. <laughs> but they work well. Like some games, some driving games don't even have working mirrors. These ones work very nice. Yeah, we, we don't have a lot of traffic, so it's not like we're worrying about masses of vehicles coming up behind us and trying to overtake us and stuff like that. So they work for the purpose of being able to keep an eye on your on your load as you're cornering, as you're reversing, if you wish to do it that way. So you do have the option of sticking your head out of a window, like me, or using the, uh, the reverse cam monitor, or old school with the mirrors. Uh, we didn't really have a look around in this cab, but it is much like the other Scarnias. We've got two Scarnias with the cab, I think, so wasn't really too fussed by it. Like I say, the diversity in the interiors, you know, truck to truck. Because the Scarnia looks the same, as it's a man, it looks the same sort of thing. It would just be nice to, like I say, have, have that option to... Uh, customize it a little bit more, decorate it a little bit more. Even if it was built into milestones, like it's unlockables, it's, it's a bit late now, but for future games, if people are making them and watching this, once you reach, you know, your first hundred thousand, unlock something to put in your cab. Uh, once you reach, you know, 250 grand, 500 grand, your first million, once you've travelled X amount of kilometres and then X more amount of kilometres, something to decorate. So it's in there, so people can see that you've done it. A little sticker or something hanging from the window. A badge on the outside of the truck. That sort of thing. That's the sort of thing I quite I like that. I like that we can do that in ATS and ETS. If you do the community jobs, if you do the complete the community challenges and take part in the community challenges, once they're over... Oh, a little bit of a dodgy uh, bridge build again. Once they're over, you get a little reward. Uh, especially if you meet your own personal goal and uh, you can put it on display in your truck or on your truck also i wouldn't be against a little dlc to help support because that's the thing a little dlc some people complain about not a microtransaction but a little dlc um, that helps to further fund and support the development of the game and the developers in anything else that they're doing so once the game is out you've brought it that's that's like end transition but we all want to be supported afterwards and by buying a little DLC here and there to add to our game, but especially for cosmetics, because they're, they're pretty simple to do, they don't affect gameplay. It's a good way of supporting games that you enjoy, developers that you know you like. Just saying, just put it out there. If anyone at Simi Games is watching, I wouldn't be against a little decorations DLC or some paint jobs to put on the trucks and the cars and the vans, you know, so that we can have fleets, companies, 
you know, even if we can't, you know, name it and do it and, and all that stuff, just so we can simulate having that, give us like ten different skins that go on everything. And let us put it on individual things. So if you want a certain skin on your trucks, you've got any trucks, you've got a skin on your car or or a particular type of lorry or a pickup. Just this would be nice. This is a bit tiny, isn't it? But other than that, Simi Games, I am very pleased with this. I have, I have thoroughly enjoyed myself for the last however many hours I've been playing. Look, I've said before, it's over 20. I've played over 20 hours, I think. Something like that. Around that. Oh, I just had a look. If not, we're a little bit less. I've been quite efficient, though. 18 hours. I've played 18 hours, and I have enjoyed all 18 hours. Now we've got more to go. We've got a few more hours left to go. Everything just feels right. Like the, the braking is smooth, and it's got it's got weight to it. You can tell how much pressure you're applying to slow your vehicle down, whether it's just a little or a lot. We can feel it now. Not, not, not all driving games even have that. It's like brake on, brake off, accelerate on, accelerate off. Now, I'm not gonna fight with some more um, cones. We're gonna take this route. Sat nav is making us go about the houses a little. We don't go down there either. Take the next one. because there's no like selecting between trailers that I can see so unless it's going to automatically be like oh wow mate slow you down um, they're automatically just going to empty the one at the back and they'll cargo the dump trailer by lifting the hydraulic 7 yeah so that's what we're doing hopefully we come out there find a way in here I think it's as soon as we turn yeah It's right the other side of the site. Boulders from one site to another. You know, the logic in how these are, these, <laughs> these deliveries are going you know, isn't very logical. We've got a ramp there, look. Jump that. I'm not gonna, not gonna, not gonna grumble at their logic. Right. Let's see what we can do with this. <laughs> yeah, this probably should have been like a single episode on its own. coming out. Oh yeah, they're coming. Nice. We got one more left in there. Oh, I gotta get oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on? It it automatically detached me. 
<laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Okay. That was weird. Fix that. <laughs> and how have I already dropped one of seven out of this trailer? There we go. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I have so much fun with this. It's crazy. Right, so that's 8,862. And we've still got one in there, actually. So did we get to... We've, we've kept one. Is that one not coming out at all? I think because the job is saying it's done, we're keeping it. I wonder if it'll count towards the... Oh, no, it might come out. It might come out. There we go. It's gone. Marvellous. Now, I've made a mess of this, so when I come back to do some more, it won't be uh, at this one. It'll be, it will be somewhere else. But hopefully, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, I just don't think there's going to be enough variety to do too much more. But if you have enjoyed this one, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification, I'll find out when new videos are going live. There's always comments and feedback down there. We will be back with at least one more episode. Possibly two if I can garner up enough cash to get a car and see what we can do with a car. But yeah, having fun. And if, you, if you've watched this series up to this point, I'm going to ravel a bit now. This is already a long one. Uh, if you've watched the series up to this point and you've gotten to this point in the, in the episode and you haven't done it yet, go down into the description and click on Ellipse Gamer. There should be a link to Ellipse Gamer. He is the, the creator that got me onto this game. I knew about the game. He did a series on it. I saw how much it improved. That's always why I wanted to check it out. So go and give him a little check out as well. He plays a variety of simulation games. Let him know that I sent you in the comments or whatever you watch just so he knows that there's people out there that got his back too. Uh, you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.